Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and you're watching Detailed Kicks and today we're here to check out the LeBron 17 Low Tune Squad. Since Space Jam 2 is set to release, Nike has already put out two sneakers to commemorate the movie. The first one was the Monstars colorway of the LeBron 17 High and this one, the Tune Squad LeBron 17 Low. When these released over at Sneakers, I tried to get my size but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it so I just helped a buddy out and got a size 9.5. This is quite an interesting colorway as it has a lot of nods to Bugs Bunny and the Toon Squad uniform. Now going to the build, this is a primarily white upper with a red and blue line that starts from the toe all the way up to the side of the tongue. This is the only thing about the sneaker that I really don't like. That line actually marks where the laces meet up. This is quite an interesting lacing system that they have. So the first lace loops are connected and then the lace loops after that are not connected to one another across the shoe. But they weave through each side, the medial and the lateral side, up all the way to the collar. I actually don't know if this is going to be helpful or this is just for aesthetics, but it is quite a funky setup. Now the white upper is divided into two materials. First material is mesh. And the second material is leather in the high wear areas. Now we have a dual cushioning setup set for this sneaker. First one is air at the back and react towards the toe. Now going to the swoosh, we have a hairy swoosh which is gray just like Bugs Bunny's fur. And when we go to the sock liner, it is pink with what's up dock behind the tongue. This is a definite nod to Bugs Bunny as the fur is his fur color and I believe the pink sock liner is from the pink inside of his ears. Going to the insoles, we have Toon Squad insoles on both pairs. Right out of the box we have mismatched lacing. Blue on the left pair and red on the right pair but if this is not your cup of tea we do have extra laces which are blue and red. For the outsole, we have a different traction setup compared to the LeBron Highs. And we have two kinds of rubber used on the outsole. We have translucent rubber on the heel and solid rubber towards the toe area. And probably my favorite detail on the sneaker is towards the heel. We have LeBron's logo which is cartoonized and leans to the right and leans to the left. So it's not a solid logo which I kind of dig. All in all this is a pretty interesting sneaker and I'll definitely try to get one in my size but I'm happy to have this pair to review as of this video's upload date. We still don't have a local livery release in store but we just got this via sneakers. That's it for my review. Thank you for watching. This is Mike signing off. Till next time. Detail, yes.